Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like you can see in the title, this video is going to be a makeup tutorial for you guys. I know it's been a while since I record a tutorial for you guys, but I am back. I will be doing more tutorials for you. So the look that I'm going to be creating is this one right here that you are looking at. I really love the nude lip, the little bit of um, smokiness in the eyes that you know been out there so I will create this look for you guys I really hope you guys enjoy it now if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you click the red button that says subscribe and I will greatly greatly appreciate that so you don't miss out on any of my videos Alrighty you guys, first thing first, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face as always. A primer is just going to help my foundation last and uh, longer and also go on easier. Now it is time to fill in my eyebrows. If any of you would like me to do an eyebrow tutorial separately, um, comment in the comment bar below. I will greatly um, be glad to do one for you guys. But I am using an eyebrow um, brush and I am filling in my eyebrows using a brow gel. When you're doing this, you wanna take your time to start small and then build it up. Um, make sure you don't use so much gel all at once. I just go ahead and do the same step on the other eyebrows. Now using the spoolie, I am just blending my eyebrows with the gel to make it look really, really natural. Now it is time to uh, clean up under my eyebrows using a concealer. I am using the LA uh, Girl Pro Concealer. Um, this shade is literally one shade lighter than my skin tone. I did not want to do it too bright or anything like that as you can see. Is very very similar to my skin color I use a flat synthetic brush to um, create that sharp um, look under my brows you want to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eyebrow um, I drag the um, concealer down to my lid because it's going to serve as a primer Now I am using the leftover that's on the brush to clean out the top of my brow bone. Really you don't want a lot of concealer on the top. It is very important to use a color that is very similar to your skin color. Now I am um, using a transition color on my eyes to create a transition look. This look here it's not going to be super super um, crazy I am using a blending brush this one is by BH cosmetics I am grabbing a color that is very very close to my skin tone I am just applying that right on my crease and it's gonna serve as a transition color now using my another blending brush by uh, morph I am grabbing a really light brown and deposit that on the outer corner of my eyes and whatever is left over I just drag it inward and you want to make sure you blend it really really nicely so it doesn't leave any marks like straight marks following I am grabbing this nice champagne color I deposit that right on my lid using a flat shadow brush and uh, you do, I am using a pattern motion so it could goes on really really nicely Now I just go ahead and blend blend all the colors together so I could have a nice even finished look. Now it is time to line my lash line. I am using this new um, pencil liner that I got from my Ipsy box. I don't remember the exact name of it but I believe it. Oh, it's Ofra. Um, I'm going to leave the name on the description box below for you guys just in case you guys are wondering. I really really like this one. I feel like it's very easy 
um, to create a wing with it. If you guys would be interested on me creating um, a tutorial showing you how to create a perfect wing and easy, just comment on the comment bar below. I will gladly answer you and because you know I'm taking requests right now. When you're doing a wing, you want to make sure that you take your time, you're not in a rush. Um, that's you know it's very, very important. And if the line doesn't look as sharp as you want, you always can clean it up with the uh, same uh, concealer brush that you use to apply on your brows. Now it is time to apply my foundation. This foundation, it is my new Chanel um, foundation, it's called Le Beige. Uh, in number 92 I am using my um, it cosmetics uh, foundation brush this is my favorite favorite foundation brush I love love that brush I've been using it for months and months and you know I cannot part away from it you want to make sure that you blend your um, foundation really really nicely so you can have an even finish now this foundation is a little bit lighter um, on my skin when I just apply it but because it oxidized and also I will be applying um, my powder and all those crazy stuff so I can get away with it now I just go ahead and line my waterline using my Urban Decay eyeliner then now I'm gonna go ahead and smudge it out using my smudge brush from Morph I really really like this brush so far you guys um, I know I did a review on them, but so far I really, really like them. Now it's time to apply some mascara. Just apply a couple coats of mascara, top and bottom lashes. Now it is time to set my face using my Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC. I really, really love that powder. Now it's time to get my blush on um, using this beautiful um, pink blush by e.l.f. I love 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 that brush set you guys I only pay six dollars for the blush I couldn't believe how good they are it's time now to apply some highlighter the one that I used was by elf it calls sun kiss I really like that one it's very very inexpensive but it's really really nice it's a nice um, highlighter now it is to finish up I'm just using some lipstick this one is a nude by um, L'Oreal and followed by applying some lip gloss and this is the finished look you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, comment and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. Bye.